Hey, this is Arrow. You know what's fun about Fridays? When this room catches on fire with comedy. Most people are stuck at their jobs doing the same old thing over and over again. Never in this room. Wedding bells are ringing and you've only met him once. You've got a crush. A crush is when you can't stop thinking about somebody and you're completely infatuated with them, but you barely even know them. Like, you've kind of psyched yourself up to thinking that, like, oh, no, you would never go out with me. So what you do is you just, like, obsess over them from afar. I think crushes are, are great. You know, they make the world go round because otherwise, you know, Taylor Swift would, like, not have a career. As a guy, it's extremely flattering to me, and it makes me feel great about myself if a girl actually likes me or has if a girl actually has a crush on me because it's like... The, you're a girl. You're supposed to think I'm repulsive. Wait, 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 wait. Before I go on, let me forewarn you. This gets a little adult. We're going to break some rules here, okay? If you are easily offended, punch out now. But here they come. Chris, Jesse, and Carly from Girl Code. Unplugged and totally uncut. What's up, AC? It's been forever since I've seen you. How are you, buddy? You doing all right? What's going on? Just hang up Carly, what's going on? Chris. Yeah. What's up, Chris? Dude, what's going I on? I love here? this. Oh, this is so great. Oh my god, you're Fozzie Bear, too. Oh my god, the Muppet. Where is Fozzie Bear? Gotta have those mops. Nyx! Nyx, baby! So Come on! We have to, we're from Ooh, New York. Shirt, you know, I saw those guys on TV the other, other day. Got... How do you like those new uniforms? They suck. I hate the them. Sleeves? I like them. I think they're cute. They're like PJs. Are you comfortable? Yeah. yeah. Like PJs. PJs to a girl, but to a guy, it's like, what? Yeah. yeah. What about those uniforms where they yeah. really look good? I mean, yeah. They, they look like they're just out there in t-shirts and a pair of workout shorts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they don't yeah. look as professional. The Knicks. the Knicks. Oh. The Knicks? <laughs> <laughs> the Knicks? Yeah. <laughs> do you, you guys, I mean, being on MTV and stuff, you guys don't watch sports, do you? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I love sports. Yeah. I watch Chris them all loves the time. sports. I like, you know, I like to go to games. She doesn't mm-hmm. know to sports. Drink. We went to a Jets game. That's you know, fun. A Jets football game. Yeah. And I took her, and she, we're getting to the stadium, she pulls a baseball mitt. She, she He's such know. a liar. She thought that He's we were. He's such a liar. Stop. Stop. What, that would be easier to catch something, yeah. at least, yeah, to protecting exactly. your she hands. Know. I mean, that's she not doesn't true. know the term. She doesn't know what's going on the whole time. I but. don't know. You got a wild she, hair. She do. roots for teams, so she thinks their uniforms are cute. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, they have pretty colors in their uniforms. I like them. Like I like the the baseball because the butts are nice. You nicer. base a team on, on how pretty their uniforms are? Yeah. yeah, that's what she does. I base it on the size of the butts. <laughs> Baseball tends to have the more like voluptuous asses because they really don't do got as more much. Asses. Yeah, but they're like baseball is like everyone looks like they're on their way out. Do you like a guy that can throw you around? Yeah, sure, I, I like a. Guy I feel like a ballerina around. could throw me around. A man ballerina. Yeah, a man arena. A man, a man arena. arena. A man. <laughs> So being from New York, I mean, with the Panthers doing as well as they are, I mean, you guys have got to be kind of jealous. I don't know what the Panthers are. I don't know what the Panthers are. The Panthers. Yeah. No, you would think the Panthers are pretty because they have, they have the blue nice. in them. Yeah, yeah, cause, yeah. They they got pretty uniforms. It's the big stadium we drove by yesterday. It was like the Panthers play there, and you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, the I, she, Bank you, of America Stadium. Yeah. What would you think of what I was talking about? A zoo? You think it was the zoo? <laughs> the Panthers play in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what she thought it was. I want to go play with Panthers. <laughs> yeah, they do. The do you think it's the zoo? Do they have baby Panthers? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, the pan- I know What is it? The Panthers, if they win on Sunday, they're in, right? Against, and the, well, they're already in, so what we're win doing... The win the division yeah, yeah, is what I meant yeah. saying, and the Saints lose, right? So we're looking for that bye week is what we're yeah, looking for. Baby. I don't so know what together. any of that means. You know, neither do I. I just know my neighbors love to drink alcohol, and it's fun to watch them do yeah. that. There you okay. Go. Yeah. Okay. I'm down with that. It's really fun. That's I'm always down with fun. That. Comedy yeah. for everyone. Sport, then, if that's the way sport. we... I mean, it's like, it's like with, with the Panthers, they they have a guy on there called Kraken, so they, I guess there's an alcohol called McCracken or something. There is so, a McCracken so alcohol. So every time that he does something, shot! That's it. <laughs> Everybody around McCracken. the table thinks, yeah. What yeah. kind of alcohol is it? It's, it's a um, buzz stuff. Rum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> rum. I don't know. Give you a buzz. It's a, it's a there dragon it on there? There it is. I think it's like a, what the hell is a kraken? Kraken is one of our players. No, but it's a kraken's a, a thing. It's a medieval ocean uh, well, look creature. At, you ever look, seen Home Alone research in these things? Release the kraken. Release the kraken. Release the kraken. Release the kraken. That's what I say when I have to fart. Really? Go ahead. Release it. 
Release it. I can't. Do it on release it. 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 Release Shit. Yeah. Bastard. There you go. That was See? the best you could do. Yeah, sorry. That's the best you could do. Thanks, uh, buddy. Yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> Shit. Shit, bastard. You could have said that on morning news. It would have been fine. I know. Bastard. If you said bastard, is it like a <laughs> Chris is like, a noun. You can curse, darn it. <laughs> like, oh, gosh, dang. Oh, poop. <laughs> I heart radio, you Wait, shit bastard. Wait, hold on. Get the mic into this. Get the mic into this. I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. No! Go ahead. Gary Gibbs, motherfucker! Oh, I just... <laughs> Jesse, your face is so close to it. Why'd you lean in? She smelled it. <laughs> Jesse, can you, you do it? That. Can Chris you do it? farted oh, into the thing. It, it, it. Will you do it? Because her, your la- your mine are. I'll work one up. Go ahead. Give me a minute. We have to have conversation first. Wait, wait, you need to go ahead. And then you got it. You're smoking a fart out of me. Put your legs up in the air. See, I can't fart. I can't fart. These two can fart on command. I can't. When I do fart, I'm like very proud of it. Where's your guys' New York accent? What do you mean? They're from I, New York. I, I don't you, hear it. You don't hear the accent? Really? No. Really? Because usually I hear a New York accent and I get instantly pissed off. Oh, is really? That yeah, because calling? you guys have an ego up there. Yeah. We yeah. have yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know you do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we have that. Because we're tough, you have to be tough in the streets. Yeah, that's true. You have to be tough, tough in New York. Otherwise, you get in punched in the head. But, yeah. what, the, but our, our ego out in Montana is want to fight. <laughs> You're from Montana? Uh, yeah. What? Do you have horses? We do have horses. I love horses. Jesse loves horses. I'm obsessed. Yeah, yeah. she's obsessed. Yeah. But, you know, do you love horses or would you love taking care of the horses I would love that taking love? care of them. Really? Yeah. I know how to ride English and Western. Wow. I don't mess around. Well, where do you think horses stay again, Carly? What did you say they this stay morning? They stay in the steeples. It's not the steeples. It's the? Stables. Stables. At Staples, right. at the Staples <laughs> Center, right. they don't stay. They don't stay in the tops of churches. Right by the. They don't stay in the right tops the of paper. old churches. Okay. They say at the steeples, and then they work at Staples. <laughs> yeah. I had to get a job because they were drug addicts. My horses, yeah, because they sleep yeah. on steeples. Right, they sleep on steeples. Exactly. Now, when you guys are in New York, where do you guys hang out at? Oh, was that, was that a little bar? Bar? Is that the chair? Cute? I went. No. Listen, listen. It's the chair. Yeah. Sounds All right. Yeah, yeah. We, I would own it. Because there's not a dog in here. That's what I would own it. Chair. Or a dying seal. Listen to your dying out. seal. Well, we do a lot. You know, we do stand up all over the city. So right. we're a lot in the West Village. Um, you we know, hang downtown out at home. Manhattan. And we're home a lot. We hang out at home. I love hanging out at home. Holy yeah. crap, it's expensive to live in New York. What do you oh. mean? You know, everyone says it's expensive in New York, but it's just, it balances out. Like, it's not really expensive to us because it's just, you know, everything equals out. Right. You know what I mean? The I cost like, of living is... Yeah, the cost of living is more because you make more. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's even. It's, mm-hmm. yeah. it's more to you. you're not driving cars, you're taking the train and all for that. The yeah, 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 for the most yeah. part. Cabs, train. I drive my car because I don't want to be on the cab. I the take train. I take cabs and it's the worst. Actually, I ride a Pegasus now. It's just, you, you ride a yeah, Pegasus? Really? Yeah. You guys didn't get one? I have those wheelies. Wait, you got one for Christmas?
<laughs> Enough with that. That smelled like coffee fart. Yeah, well, it she, farted like a on, latte. she farted on the radio, on the uh, TV show this morning. I sure did. Yeah, it, was, it was like audible. Yeah. Right there in front of Derek James? In the During dance the party, dance yeah. party. Oh. Yeah, I got excited. Terrence. Oh, Terrence. Terrence. Terrence the news was, guy. Yeah, he was talking about doing crack, and then she and farted. And then yeah, farted. She crack farted. makes me fart. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It was a beautiful thing. Doesn't crack give you she gas? She released a kraken in her ass. <laughs> At least a crack kraken. Yeah. <laughs> now, how did you guys get on MTV? Well, We uh, weaseled our way in. Yeah, we're weasels. I, no. like, I like some good weaseling. Yes. Yeah. We no, are, yeah, auditioned. we're all stand-up comics. Yeah, so they, uh, they, you know, um, I got on Guy Guy Code. Right, that was the first. That was the show that came out first, and I got on. I'm um, always a stand-up, uh, you know, comic uh, in Manhattan. So I, um, they just saw are me. Are you going to say? Were you a stand-up comedian? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure. You didn't no, make it well, clear I'm, yet. Hold on, I'm trying because I was just I'm, the way he's talking. He sounds fart. so nervous. I'm mid fart. No, because I'm mid fart. You I'm sound trying to like you're out. so. You're like, and then I was. Um, a- I uh, I did well on an audition. <laughs> thank you. And same thing for me and Jesse May too. We I just mean, auditioned they, a lot with everyone. The girls like to message us, and they're like, "I'm funny. I want to get on Girl oh Code." Like we just got <laughs> on. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, and nobody's gonna know what day we recorded this, so it's okay. Those girls last night that were like, "I'm the funniest person I know," so like, can you get me on the show? Yeah, like, I mean, the I'm the funniest. Um, everyone and they came sad. to the show last night, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And the one girl's like, "I usually snort when I laugh, but I didn't snort tonight." So okay. yeah, I was like, "I don't know what that we means." We were like, "All right, nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you for not snorting." You know, it's been good for us though because Ryan Ling, he's the guy that created Guy Code and Girl Code, right? So now we're on so much stuff on MTV that we don't even like audition anymore. Like now they just put us on the because the they know shows, what we're you know? capable of. Right, they know what we're capable of. Yeah, so it's good to get on. Yeah. The way that MTV's really going, I'm, I'm glad they got away from videos because I hated videos. Yeah, and, and I couldn't understand. And it's not because video killed the radio. I was star, just going to say yeah. that, but, but but it's because it. I being a jock, it's like we could picture whatever that song was about, and all mm-hmm. of a sudden you got Michael Jackson doing Thriller, going, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it it takes away from the imagination. So yeah. the fact that MTV thinks of itself as an entertainment outlet is awesome. Yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. really starting it's to all, go in the comedy direction now. It's becoming a comedy network. It like, is. You know, it really it is. is. Comedy network needs some competition right <laughs> yeah. now. You know, they, yeah. those guys, you know, I mean, John Stewart's good, but come on, he's the only one holding up that yeah. network. Yeah, so yeah. It's yeah. Like, Central, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. John Stewart's great. You just yeah. think, there's, you know, there's a lot, of, there's a wide spectrum to what the comedy, what comedy is. So mm-hmm. it's like MTV, they need comedy for that audience and I guess we're yeah. starting to be that yeah. for and I think that girls. that's like I think their best shows are comedies or yeah, you know, you got some awkward of girl code. Sixteen and pregnant, hilarious. Sixteen and pregnant, hilarious show. Is it hilarious or is it just shocking? It's, uh, yeah, it's yeah, depressing. depressing. Yeah, yeah. Or is yeah. it realistic? Depressing. My my aunt was sixteen and pregnant. Who isn't sixteen? Yeah. And There's pregnant? Yeah. girls out there now that are yeah. trying to get pregnant at sixteen just to be, to be on, on the show, show which yeah. is that's awful. Well, yeah. you want to know what it is? That's like, really it's dumb. It's like scary. It's scary because it's always like that. The girls and then the the mom raises the baby and the girl is always there's always like a scene I don't know if they do this on purpose to try and make the girl look like a really bad mom but there's always like a scene where like the teenage mom is on the phone and she's not paying attention the baby's like rolling around with a candle like putting its finger in like a light socket that just they make them look like the most irresponsible people in the entire world that sounds like world. a home video from my, from yeah. my childhood and the and the dr- girl's just on the phone when are we gonna like, do I that I am a good mom I am I hate when people say I'm not a good mom I am and the baby's Her choking on a tampon out of a window <laughs> Well, see, that's the one thing I've always asked about about comedy because I've always, in my first book I wrote that there's no such thing as comedy; it's relating. And yeah. what you're doing right now is you're explaining that you're laughing because you relate with it, and it, because it was your life. Now, as comedians, stand up. Do you see that? I mean, that oh. your comedy is based on relating more than it is. I'm going to come up here and tell a joke. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, like I talk personally a lot about my family. You know, my he, she went down. I'm so sorry. She must have said shit. He just took a shot at me. Oh no, no. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever cussed on iHeartRadio. You yeah! yeah! <laughs> fucking dare! Montana, bitches! That's how they know. Mike, oh my god! Remember us. He's so excited. Remember oh my god. Me. We bring it out in here. Fuck it out. He said shit. Remember us. Remember these faces. Not... We did this to you. <laughs> no, I'm just letting you bring talk. it out. Yeah. No, um, we're not offended. No, we're not afraid of anything. We're not afraid of anything. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I don't know. Oh, you know. You're talking about your... Oh, yeah, comedy. You know, like I talk a lot about my family. Right. So even though, like, you know, my family's not your family, you have a family. 
So I'm a stand-up comic, and um, yeah. Chris okay, is Chris, a stand-up no, comic. Let's no, just not ask that. Chris any more questions because Chris is a hard I'm a time. I, I like I'm a comic. Did I anyone a get? Chris is a stand-up comedian. Chris is a stand-up comedian with stand- a family. I do stand-up so, comedy, and I'm a person. Chris has yeah. a family. Chris has a family. He also is a comedian of stand-up. Right. I also I like stand-up shows. And he has he has a dad. Chris he has is a mom, standing up right now. I like to right. be funny. Hey, mom, <laughs> if you can hear me, hi. How it's Chris, your son. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that was. Oh God. But I think like yeah, like you're saying like I think that's the. One thing that I love about comedians, I like to know who they are as a person. Yeah. And, like, you knew who Richard Pryor was. You knew, like, all the pain that he went through. And, you know, Joan Rivers, even though she talks a lot about, like, pop culture, you still get an idea for what mm-hmm. she was like as a person. And that's, so that's the type of com- comedy that I like. And that's the only way, Me you too. know, that you stand out, too. You know I mean? Anybody can make an observational joke about a car. But, right. You know, if something happened to you inside that car... Don't talk about that! What? <laughs> what happened in the car? Oh, what happened yeah, in the don't car? Talk about what happened yeah, it's in a the sore car. subject. Mike, Mike just did we were in Mike's horrible fart cloud. to us Jesus. in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he just, you know, we were Mike in Mike's and his car. dislocated knee fart cloud. Yeah. Mike, the <laughs> manager of Charlotte Comedy out. Zone, has no kneecaps. So. Guys, the manager of Charlotte Comedy Zone, no kneecaps. Yeah. yeah Gone. If you're going to come to the shows, it's buy one, get one free knees for, <laughs> for Mike. It's, buy one, get one it's a two knee minimum at the club. Yeah. You need donations. Yeah, he's taking We're knee taking donations. It's a two-knee minimum. Yeah. Mike's missing one because a lady didn't have one, so he gave one of his knees to a lady. So right. there you go. We're yeah. making him a hero. We're yeah. making him a hero, whether he likes it or not. i got to pull out my camel toe. Even though he probably has the knee missing because he kicks somebody. Why would you pull out a camel toe if that's oh, the only thing guys oh, like God. looking at? Oh, because it really hurts. Oh, they don't Come like on. looking at it. Like 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 look at those monsters, those walrus patties. Listen to the girls, really. They look like little hamburgers. Slop-a-puss. No one wants slop puss Lapapus. You notice that the guys hurts. aren't saying anything. No. <laughs> yeah, a, yeah. Camel toes are the worst feeling. Also I have, that. Okay, also, just to keep it real here on, on iHeartRadio, uh, I get urinary tract infections every time I get on an She's airplane. She's got the tiniest vagina ever. My vagina, vagina looks like an envelope. a walnut. <laughs> 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 an envelope? <laughs> that was <laughs> huge. <laughs> what I meant an envelope. No, I meant like the, the, the just the narrowness of paper. Vagina, you know what your vagina looks like? It looks like a little chihuahua butthole. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Not even that big. If you, no, it's if like it, a walnut, the inside of a walnut. Yeah, like, but then if the walnut was pressed in an envelope, like really teeny, teeny, like so narrow, like you're basically right. your labia could give me a paper cut. Right. It's yeah. the teeniest right. thing Everybody I've ever watch seen. Watch out! Watch out! That's yeah. why they call me paper cut <laughs> Carly. You know, I, I paper you cut. Got, you guys, you guys are talking about this, and the first thing I saw this morning when I turned on the TV was how Samsung has created a camera so you can take easier selfies. And now I'm going, there well, go. there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because people are having a hard time going, yeah! Oh, that was a bad yeah. one. So. Yeah. Oh, there's too much blur in that yeah. one. Vagina selfies. So if you have a walnut, so you're, you're if you have a walnut <laughs> vagina. I have, well, I can crack a walnut with my vagina. <laughs> yeah. She can crack a walnut with her little teeny vagina. It's, it's the cute babiest. And small. So she was saying she gets urinary tract <laughs> So what we were talking about was politics, and we yeah, were on the ground. I voted for I will like Obamacare. <laughs> Guys, Chris does stand up comedy. I I'm also a stand up. I'm a stand up comedian. Right. I'm from New York City. It's on the East Coast. Right. You have a family. I have it's a family. on the East Coast. Are you going to say that one again? You have a family. I yeah, have a family. family right. Stand up comedy. My, my girlfriend has a walnut vagina. Right. So now, walnut now vagina. Do, you, do you have the red hair because there's balance here now? Mm-hmm. Is, uh, is that the reason why? Well, I was thinking we. I want us to look like a rainbow cookie, but. Yeah, we're like that Napoleon cool. Neapolitan ice cream Neapolitan now. Neapolitan ice cream, yeah. But um, I, I dyed my hair this color when I was in high school, okay. and I just never Spend changed that. it. I just wrote a book based on a girl from New York City who had bright orange hair in a comic book store at 832 Broadway. And, oh, okay, and, and yeah, I, yeah. I really did see what it. What is that? Forbidden and, Planet. And that's exactly what it is. Oh, my God. I know. I so, know. So I, I went there, and I called him up a year later, and I said, I really want to tell this girl that I've written a book about her. And he thought I was weird. Well, really? I do too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, every, everybody in this room. I, I wrote a book about I, I thought that walking weird. into this room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His little daughter, I love yeah. her. <laughs> Did you fall asleep on me? Mike, Mike fell asleep Lord, only because okay. he's losing air. <laughs> <laughs> I breathed through my knee. Yeah. And it's all because of this girl who had orange hair. That's amazing. And, okay. And so, What's the name of the book? It sounds like Scrambled the Indian eggs. in the cupboard. Scrambled and you were not like... on drugs when you wrote this book. No. I was it's... up in New York City for less than 24 hours. I, I was up there for an awards show. 
went up there. I knew I was going to hit the award show, go hit ground zero, and then walk back from ground zero over to uh, 16th Street. And you fell in love with her. Oh, my God. Remember, that's a pretty far walk, Did she right? work there? I didn't realize Wait, it was you know a far walk. It's a far walk. Really I didn't far know. Walk. I'm going, oh, I'll walk back, Everyone man. thinks they can walk back. Oh, Yeah, everybody thinks the that. They're like, it's ground zero back. near Harlem. We'll walk it. You know, they, it. they moved, the, maybe when the guy, maybe when you called, they moved that store. Oh, it's not at 832 It's not anymore? at 832 oh, anymore. No. It's called Forbidden Planet. You can find it online, yeah. but they moved it to like two blocks down. That's so funny you knew it. Now She's it's a van, so I love comic books. Oh, man. I because it's a cool story. You walked in there, yeah. and you're in a whole completely different world. And I went in there looking for Muppets, and they go, no Muppets, dude. What's with you and Muppets? I know. What's with Can you I and Muppets? I love the Muppets. The, the true story behind the Muppets is I, I got hired here, and they go, I need two things from you. I never want to see you and make the guy who also does production happy. So I walk into his office, and I go, what makes you happy? I love Muppets. So I bought Muppets. I love or Muppets. Or the real story is you, every Ms. time Peggy. you kill someone, you turn yeah, you, on the wall. <laughs> their body gets, their soul gets transformed. So these are all the people that you have killed uh, right here. That's it, man. Oh, my God. I love You know, you know where story. they all came from? Thrift shops. Really? So, so really? I, I'm on a rescue, a Muppet rescue as well. Yeah, you're, you, you're like rescuing them like mm-hmm. Pitbull. Oh, yeah. look at Big Bird. So I'm hoping that Macklemore writes a song about me, you know. Yeah, so. <laughs> thrift store. That's what it's about, right? It's about you shopping for a Fozzie Bear animal. Right. I got it for, what, 99 cents? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop some tags. Yeah, I got $20 <laughs> in my pocket. I don't know what the pop tags This is fucking awesome. Okay, sit down. Get back. That was All right, good. you want to go to the steeples? Guys, <laughs> yeah, the worst. Yeah. Steeples? So now, what are, are you guys in off season now, or what? What what's going on? What you guys are on the, the the comedy circuit? Are you traveling just in and out, in and out of New York, or what? What are you guys doing? What's yeah. are you out promoting the TV show? We're in between taping right now. Okay. Yeah, we're in between taping. We just finished taping season two of Girl Code. Um, so right now we're just we're doing stand up together. Mm-hmm. We have a we few have dates a, together. Yeah, we have some gigs booked for the next. A couple months. Couple Pretty months. Yeah, like that's got to be cool, though. Yeah, and then we around. scissor in between. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. we scissor. Carly and I will scissor. Yeah. Scissor me timbers. Chris just... stands in the corner and talks about how he does stand-up comedy. Yeah. And then Chris I does fart. stand-up comedy. With... Yeah, in New York. Chris does platypus farts. Your your farts sound like like a wet bog. Yeah. Just like what a bubble out of a wet. Like? Your farts? Why are we talking about farts? Like they little chirpy like birds. A... Like bird chirps. Every time you fart, I don't know why I think of raisinets. I don't know why I do. That's just the honest. Every time you fart, I think, oh, I want a raisinette. Well, that's that's creepy. You know what this reminds me of? There, there used to be a, an off-Broadway play called Noises Off, and it was about three people that would do a radio show. And I swear to God, I'm living Noises Off right now. <laughs> you guys could be doing a freaking podcast and just and just being broadcast all over the world. We have yeah. a rapport. We've no, been traveling yeah. together. We're all friends. Each other. Yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've known we each love other this for a long time. Yeah. We've known we each go other out. before the show's even started. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you on stage at all together as one, or do you come out individually? No. We no. we do it all individually. Carly and I did that once at a college. Where mm-hmm. were we in L.A.? Yeah, we were in, in L.A. What was the college? Um, do you remember the name? Loyola. Shit. Lo- thank you. Loyola Marymount. Loyola Marymount. Yeah. And um, her and I had the idea to come out after our sets and just do like question Q and A stuff. Yeah. And it was that was hilarious. so much fun. We played with the audience. That was yeah. so much fun. And we're doing what college are we doing together? York. York. We're doing York, York College. Yeah. Us, yeah. So we might do that again. We both do it. You know, they really do it, and then Carly and I. Sometimes we do yeah, shows together, we, and we do that, too, because, you know, her and I, you know, we date, we, um, you know, so... The, oh, you guys are dating? Yeah. So the fans know sweet. that, how are the fights? you know? <laughs> 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 he looks at me so sweet, how are the fights? <laughs> I plead the fifth, man. How do you think we keep this shit cool? I plead the fifth. I heart radio. It. <laughs> it's fun, though, you know? Actually, you know what? Tonight, we should... we. Why don't we all do our sets and then at the end just come out? We should at the late show. We should. Let's Let's try it. Let's just try it. Is there is there three mic? Can we get three mics out there? Even if we could get at least two. And four mics, because you're coming up. For too, your knee? So yeah. How about four two mics? mics, one for your knee and one, one for the knee. dislocation, you this guy's slob. a freaking hero. Have you seen him with He's all the people that come out of the comedy zone? They love Everybody him. knows him. I know. Yes, big mic. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Look, Look at, at that him. chin hair. I saw him at the <laughs> airport. <laughs> that shit punch is strategic. Him in the face. He's so cute. I will punch him in the face. He's so cute. <laughs> he picks you up smelling like peppermint. Yeah. You ever have a guy pick you up smelling like peppermint? You mean Santa Claus? Yeah, he smells like Santa Claus. <laughs> and Santa Claus, what? <gasps> Mike is Santa Mike Claus. Santa Claus. He has to dislocate a knee because all the Ma- presents. No, Mike is 2013 <laughs> Santa Claus. The kid's sitting on my knee. 
There that, it just got weird. Mike just made it weird. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's Mike had to now. take it to the kids sitting on his knee. Okay, listen. I know the souls of those kids are inside the Muppets that are hanging on the wall here at 106.5 The End. That's right. Is that right? 106.5 The End? Is well, that what it's, one it's called? It's the one down the, down the, the hall. hall. Okay, what's this one? Is that it's called The End? Is this, this is the right end of our, our lives? That's, this is all the stations. 106.5 The End is down the hall. What we are you? Seven down the Fox. This is just um, iHeartRadio? I'm iHeartRadio, man. Beta? I like our iHeartRadio. Yeah. What's your number, though? You got a number? On iHeartRadio. 109.9 The iHeartRadio. Just type just in Arrow. Just Google me. Arrow? Is that your name? Yeah. You're a fucking rock star. I know. You are. Arrow, dude. <laughs> you are. You know who does iHeartRadio? Nessa. Nessa has a show. Nessa. Hi, Nessa. Hi, Nessa. Who's got a show on iHeartRadio. She's great. Her name is Nessa. It's all about Nessa you Nitty. guys honestly France. should be going that direction. It, it just, just for something for fun. It's yeah. fun. And it, it's so it, much it, fun. It, we, love, we love doing this. We love this. I was just doing a report on Iron Maiden. I do a classic rock report. And they have figured out how to beat stealing music. Yeah. You go to the cities where the people are stealing music. Because those are the most dedicated fans you'll ever have. Yeah. And so they'll buy the tickets. They'll buy the merchandise. So mm -hmm. it's And so what you do is you find out who your listening audience is because everybody's IP address is there. Yeah. And then you just go there and then you make it. Mike is snoring again. This asshole. <laughs> Mike, 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 we're talking about Iron Maiden, Mike, Iron Maiden. Mike, and you're over there snoring through you know your Iron beard. Is? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. Who are they? They're a band. Yeah, that's right. I'm one of their band members. Iron. <laughs> the Arrow. Maiden. The Iron Maiden. Yeah, Iron and Maiden. Yeah. The Maiden. Who's the Maiden? Name one of the Muppets. <laughs> Kermit. Oh, that's so Sorry, easy. That was so easy. Yeah. Kermit looks like he gained some weight, by the way. Yeah. That, that one does. Yeah, that one actually Kermit. does. Jesus. Name one of the band members of Metallica. Uh, er, Lars Ulrich, the drummer. Slash! <laughs> <laughs> she grabbed the Lady mic. Kravitz. <laughs> I'm just naming people we saw Britney on the wall. Britney Spears. Up here. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got three shows. You've got one tonight. Two tonight. Two tonight. Two tonight. Two tonight. Two tomorrow. Seven, Seven tonight. Tomorrow. Seven and nine. You want to sit? Eight and ten, fifteen tonight. Eight and ten, fifteen tonight. Yes. See how they make it nice and easy Here, to remember the times so of the shows. My, I gotta let my camel. Seven and nine tomorrow. Eight and ten, fourteen tonight. Are we switching? What time is it? Hey guys. Eight, what is it tonight, Mike? Eight and ten fifteen. I don't think it matters, right? Because this is just going to be playing. So if you go to the Comedy Zone, just check out a show. You know what's great? We might not be there. Radio and you guys being here. Is that fifty years from now, people will still be able to hear, hear this interview? It and my vagina will be a mess <laughs> by then. Yeah, it will. My vagina will look like yeah, that plant behind your head. Yeah. Eight and ten, fifteen, Charlotte Comedy Zone. My on vagina Friday will look like a Manila nights. envelope. Charlie's, I said Charlie. <laughs> Carly's vagina will still look like a little walnut envelope. And she'll still be farting little baby raisinets. Little That's baby right. raisinets That's like right. a deer. Like and a deer. My name's Chris and stand up comic from <laughs> He has a family. Hey, has... Chris, Chris, honestly, tell us about yourself. Tell us all about okay, yourself. Okay, my name's Chris right, DiStefano. That's okay. D I S, not D E S, D I S, Stefano. I'm a stand up comic. I'm from New York City. Do you hey, have mom. Family? Hey, mom. Do you have spell your name when you're drunk, though? Hey, yes. Everybody spells my name wrong. Everybody spells my name D-E-S, -E but it's D-I-S. Diss. It's diss, exactly. Don't diss me. Don't diss to Stefano. Actually, I do want you to diss me. You what just... nationality is that? Oh, that's Arabian? Italian, my friend. You want some... really? We're all Italians. Peluso, Aquilino, to I'm Stefano. I'm 100% Sicilian. We're the ragus of, of comedy. Yeah. yeah. We're the pregos of what comedy. What did you call We're it, Carly? Flying sauces. Yeah, she flying wanted sauces. to call it the flying sauces tour. S A W S A W C E S. Sauces. sauces. The flying, flying sauces. sauces. Flying sauces. Yeah. My dad's Sicilian and my mom's a Do you ever just finger this? I think Everybody the fingers that. And that's I, took oh. I took it off. I took it off, too. Ew. Yeah, so uh, put it back. So it's got then... some finger. Oh, There's Mike wants to finger it. Yeah. You, yeah. Dirty yeah. you dirty yeah. bastards. It's Carly. Yeah. That's Jesse Mack. Ah! She said, you got a big pussy. <laughs> and this is Mike's knee. <laughs> no, this is Mike's knee. Bye-bye, you guys. It's going down. And I'm Chris. You can, Mike, you can I feel really bad that we're talking shit about Mike's knee. I know. Mike we're walking die. in. No, we're walking in. And Jesse goes, Mike, what's wrong with your knee? He's like, I dislocated it. She goes, ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> I was like, it's not his fault. <laughs> He's just walking around with a sloppy knee. I just, it really pisses me. It pisses me off. It pisses me off. You're doing Neagles. Neagles. Neagle Kegels. Neagles! Knee Kegels! How good is that? Neagles. Oh my God. Words and making them one Neagles is hilarious. Be careful with that one, though. Why? I learned that one in college. Come on, Neagles. Neagles? What happens with it? Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful of that one. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it took a minute. He took a minute. Yeah. He got it. He's like, what the heck? Man, I'm not getting this one at he all. He got it. Uh, <laughs> See, that's what your words look like. Uh, uh, <laughs> Wait, do a little one. Uh, uh, so that's see that's Carly's Carly do, do one of your farts do one Carly, of your farts do, into the do, mic go. just go okay this is like what my fart would sound like oh look how oh, it's so little <laughs> it's so little ready here's my fart <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> and here's my this <laughs> is <laughs> Man, you see why I hide that when they come in? Because everybody would sit here and look at that machine. Is that because it, no one Do you sing? Are you in a band? No. I why feel, not? I feel, I feel, I can you radio. sing for us? No, I don't sing. Sing, yeah, you do, like man. Are you married? Yeah, Arrow? I've been married my entire life. Wow. What? Yeah, Since you were a zygo? I, I got married when I was 17, so therefore I left my mother to my first wife. I got divorced on <laughs> June 21st, 1993, and was married on July 11th, 1993. Really? How about that? Isn't that hot? That is hot. Really? Yeah. Divorced and married to the same woman again or no, another no, woman? No, no. Different woman. Completely different woman. He gets around. So you've never and been now alone? You're with your second For two wife? weeks. Now you're with your second wife? Yeah. So you don't know what it's like to be alone? For two weeks. Was it fun? He was yeah. alone for two weeks. Did you so. do a tour? Did you do a twat tour? <laughs> so wait a minute. Did you so, go all around the world so in two So how weeks? did you meet your second wife? And when you first met her, you were like, we have to She planned to the wedding, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was in a club. So, you know, back back in the old days of radio, you had to do appearances in clubs. You had to do every style of club. And so, and and that's what you, you know, it's, it's like. So you're like, hey, you're what's going on? You're always on tour. So yeah. you met her and you were like, I need to marry you right now because like, I can't it, go man. any longer. Like, I just got divorced. Let's get married. That's it. But this huh. is like pre-social that's networking. So it's it like you don't realize there's yeah. other right. women. So you're yeah, like, I got to like, nag her. Yeah, 1993, the closest thing we had to social networking was go to a pay phone and call somebody. Yeah. That's also like how they moved crack and drugs around. So that's, yeah. That's how Arrow did it. Yeah. That's how I still do it. Yeah. That's how Oh, Arrow's never gotten caught because he's, oh, he's still maintaining yeah. that old school, he takes yeah. back to old school. the old school way. It's, right. yeah. it's right. Well, I appreciate you guys coming here. Thank, Thank you. you. So much, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. I did get a picture. Love you for that. Right. Sorry you about, about all the know. farts. Mike, he can't stand up right now. Mike, does your knee want to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do Mike's knee. Do my... Here's Mike's knee. <laughs> <laughs> it's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you do Mike's knee. Mike's knee. Everyone has to do Mike's knee. <laughs> Carly, do Mike's knee. Do Mike's knee. Okay, I'll do Mike's knee. It's not there, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it if it's not there. The knee is gone. His knee <laughs> fell off. The knee stands alone. The knee stands alone. Hi, Holidaria. Mike's knee. got no fucking the knees. knees. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so uh, much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Look at Jesse make shit.